let's go to Proverbs verse chapter, I mean, 17 verse 13. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil should not depart from his house. And you can look at the translation there. Whoever gives evil in return for good will always have trouble at home. So I believe what this is saying here, let me put it in another way. Let's say that you are doing so much good for someone. Let's say that you, uh, you bless them. Like, um, let's say that you asked your boss, like, hey, can you hire a particular person? And let's say that person got them hired. You know what I'm saying? And let's say that person, for whatever reason, chose to lie on you and got you fired. What do you think is going to happen to that person? And that kind of makes me remember something. And when I tell these stories, I am not trying to make myself seem like I do nothing wrong. Believe it or not, I do do wrong. I am not perfect, but I am striving for perfection. Anyways, years ago, I was working at a job. And, um, you know, I would tell some people about God. And there was a particular person that would resist me so much. And... This has been so long ago, and I may not remember all of the details, but I believe that person gave me some trouble. And I forget exactly every single thing. I may remember some things, but I don't think I remember everything. But believe it or not, like maybe a time after, Oh, let me say this too, and I am not saying this to reap my reward. You know, I would help that person with, um, like, uh, there was a time to where I guess that person wasn't going to the a cafeteria to eat. And um, I was nice enough to uh, ask him, you know, like, why aren't you going to the cafeteria or whatever I asked them and that person told me that they either had no money or was low on money or something like that and I did something to where that person could buy some stuff to eat get something to eat yeah let's say get something to eat anyways after a while I forget everything. I forget some things, but that person got fired. That person got fired and I was shocked. I was definitely shocked. Now, I don't remember every single thing that person did to me, but I believe I remember that person would give me a hard time. This has been quite a bit of years ago. I believe this verse right here is true. Now, this says house. Now, this scripture says house. Yes, I believe trouble will come to your house, but I also believe that trouble will follow you. Because this verse coincides with other verses pertaining to you reap whatever you sow. So yes, you will have trouble at your house, but I also believe this is saying, no matter where you are, 
you will have trouble. So the Bible tells us that we should bless our enemies. You don't believe me? Okay. Okay, let's go to Matthew chapter 5 and let me see, verse 44. Um, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So I think this covers all grounds when it comes down to how we should treat our enemy. This is saying that we should bless our enemy. It doesn't mean if, it doesn't matter if they are mean to you. It doesn't matter if they have used you. But you may say, well, Kevin, if we bless our enemy, aren't they going to use us? Possibly, but did you see that other verse? If they are unwise enough to use you, look at what is going to happen to them. They will reap what they sow. You may not know about it, but they will reap. I believe this is one of the reasons why God wants us to do right to our enemy, because I believe there is an ongoing law on this earth, you reap what you sow. So in essence, what you put out, which I believe you will get back. So if you try to do this eye for an eye thing, tooth for a tooth thing, what do you believe is going to happen? I believe curses will come your way. But if you bless people that do good to you, what do you think is going to happen to you? Yes, they may use you. Yes, they may take advantage of you. Yes, they may lie to you and go behind your back and say things that aren't true. But if you defeat their wickedness with righteousness, who wins? you win. The person who chooses to do the right thing wins. A person may say, well, Kevin, I am only going to treat people good if they treat me good. Well, let me say it in this way. If you think in that way, and I don't like to use this word, well, let me not use it. If you think in that way, you are a very unwise person very unwise because if you think that you don't benefit listen to me you don't benefit by treating other people wrongly whether you think they deserve it or not you are not the judge to say that hey i am going to treat this person wrong because of their behavior no you can't do that because if you do that, you will pay. Trust me. You may say to me, Kevin, well, if I don't do evil back, then that person or people may believe I am weak, may believe that I am afraid. They may see me as a target and attack, attack, attack. Okay, listen now, I believe I told you that there is a law on this earth. I call it a law. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Humans can say whatever they want to say about you. They can say that you don't think right, you are a wimp, you are a loser, you are whatever. Just because they say it, is it true? 
I believe this world belongs to God. We are ran by God's rules. So if some people choose to rebel against God's rules, are you telling me that you are going to do it because other people are doing it? Listen, I have been taken advantage of quite a bit of times. Now, in an earthly sense, I can say, you know what? I am not going to help anyone else because people, some people, not everyone, some people choose to take advantage of me. That is carnal sense. But in a spiritual sense, which I try to focus my mind on, even if people take advantage of me, I gain. Why? Because I reap what I sow. And if you look at Proverbs, let me not talk so loud. If you look at Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13, whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil, hello, shall not depart from his house. So, <laughs> I'm not very smart, but what this seems to me, that person is cursed. A curse will come upon that person. That is probably a better way to say it. A curse will come upon people who chooses to do evil to people that do them good. What they say over here, I guess, um, bite the hand that feeds you as in you are doing wrong to the person that is helping you. Some people do this. I think it is very strange, but some people do this. So will people take advantage of you? Yes. On more than one occasion, people have taken advantage of me. Do I hold hatred for those people? No. Do I want to be paid back? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. But I can't really. But in the end, I win even if it feels like I did not. Because why? Because we are going to what? Reap what we sow. Yes. And the people who think that, hey, I took advantage of Kevin. I took advantage of Susie. I took advantage of Johnny, Timmy, John. They may think they got the advantage. They may think that. But according to this verse here, a curse is coming or has already came. I have been used by more than one person. Will I get used by more people? Of course. Of course. I tell you what I am not going to do. I am not going to be 100% stingy and be like, look, I am not going to help anyone else. I am not going to be that way because who is going to suffer? Me. Why? Because we reap what we sow. How can I ask for mercy? How can I ask for blessings if I choose to show no mercy? If I choose to not bless others. How can I ask for something that I am not willing to give? There is a law. <laughs> I know I keep on saying this. There is a law in this world. You reap what you sow. I'm asking, let's say I'm asking for mercy every single day, but at the same time, I am choosing to be wicked and evil 
to other people. How weird is that? How unjust is that? What is the chance of me receiving mercy? Yes, I believe God does bless the righteous and the unrighteous, but at the same time, listen now, we reap what we sow. So we can't bypass that. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, hey, you are doing me good, hey, I am going to do evil to you. So if you are doing good to a person and someone is choosing to do evil back to you, what is going to happen? Evil shall not depart from his house. So I would say evil will follow that person. Yes, I truly believe it. You may complain and ask, like, why are so many bad things coming my way? Why is God allowing this and that in my life? Ask yourself, what have you been doing in life? What have you been doing? When you cheat people, when you lie, when you steal, when you uh, like do wicked things to people, are you counting those things when bad things are happening in your life? Kevin, I think the bad things happening in my life is a coincidence. How can you say that when you see this verse here, which there are verses which I believe that says you reap what you sow. This verse here is ultimately saying you reap what you sow. I believe, uh, let me say this too. You know, I believe sometimes bad things happens to you also. It could be a test. But what I am trying to say if you are going around doing evil so much and many bad things are happening to you, I think you should really consider like, hey, let me stop being so wicked. I hope this makes sense. May God bless you.